to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be playing, I'm going to be trying some stamping, and now I'm not very good at stamping, so do bear with me in this video, but I bought a whole load of Born Pretty stamping gel polishes, and uh, I didn't use one of them in this video. <laughs> Actually, it's, that's a little bit of a lie. So this is my Manitude stamper. So it's got a clear jelly stamper top thing, and then it's got one underneath that's good for like making things shrink or make them bigger. I can't remember, but I'm, yeah, I'll have to. Anyway, look, this is some of the stamping plates that I got from them. So this is an Animal Crossing one. You know I love Animal Crossing. They have some really, really good stamping plates. And this is another Animal Crossing one. Some of my stamping plates I did get rid of because they go against my faith. So a couple I did keep that I probably could have got rid of. Um, but I did donate them. So, yeah, this is the one we're going to be using today. Minecraft. Yeah. I love it. Uh, finally, I know some of you are like, oh, Minecraft, really? Um, this is another one um, I haven't used. Uh, and then we've got this RV camping one, which is quite cute. And then, um, what's that one? I can't see. Oh, no, this is the camping one, is it? Oh, I don't know what the other one was. I can't see because the recording box is in the way. Um... Oh, this is one if you like to drink. Don't get drunk though, folks. Um, and then... I can't even see. I can't see. But they, they have a look, Manitude. I'll leave their website down below. But today, um, I'm just wiping over my stamping plate before I use it. Because I, I did have a little go on it uh, a little while ago. And, uh, oh, I love it. Right, anyway. So when I clean my stamping plates, I use non-acetone polish remover kind of thing just so that it doesn't eat the metal or whatever because I don't know if it does but right so for the base color I'm going to use voila this is from Madame Glam you can get 30% off Madame Glam using my code natmug30 all right with Manitude I do just have to warn you if you are in the UK I got lumped with a hefty customs fee the customs fee I think came to like if you removed the $10 pack put ship in because the shipping was ten dollars which is fine because i think it came from america um but if you remove the shipping fee the the customs fee came to more than my order oh customs just get you don't they Ugh. so do bear that in mind mine was 43 pound um i don't know and my order was about that same kind of price including the postage so yeah, do you, I don't know. I don't know how 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 much it varies or depending on your order, but the stamping plates are really nice. So if you can, if, you know, if you don't mind the customs fee, then do check out the website because they do have some really funky stamping plates. So yeah, just saying. Uh, right, so we're gonna do this right now. I wanted to do a creeper. So you probably noticed in the thumbnail picture there is no creeper. It's because I ruined the. I ruined the design, right? So I was like, right, we're going to try these Born Pretty gel polishes, uh, nail stamping polishes, right? So I'm just going to clean my stamping stamper with, if you've got, um, you need to get those lint rollers, the rollers that you wipe over your clothes. You can use one of those, but I'm using sellotape because I don't know where I put my roller. Uh, this is the Born Pretty stamping polish. You kind of have to work quite quickly, but that first one, yeah, a bit of a disaster. So I tried again. So the Born Pretty polish on this on the plate, wipe the plate with my card. I've done a couple of wipes. I was thinking maybe I should have only done one. Uh, even worse. So, okay. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So I thought, right, we'll try my Young Nails Caption polish. So I've done that. And I thought, right, I'll only swipe once this time. Oh no, I've done it twice, sorry. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that is a lot better. It's still not perfect, but I was like, oh, should I do it again? And I, in the end, I couldn't be bothered to do it again. <laughs> so with the with the thing, with the design, you just want to get off all the bits that you don't want on the nail. And I do this using the sellotape. And then what I thought I'd do was, I thought I'd use the green stamping polish to colour in the creeper's face. Now, if I do it this way... I'm still going to end up with the black detail, the black design detail on the front, which is what I want, even though here I'm covering it up. But the stamping polish dries really quickly and it was a little bit of a, yeah, I don't know. How do people do this? 
because when you see some designs when people when people show stamping plates they show like a design that's been done on the stamping plate and they've cut they're colored in beautifully and i'm like how do they do that unless it's like a layered stamping plate i don't know but like i stuck this on about there i love the stamper it's brilliant and I'm like, yeah, I'm not that great. I'm not that pleased with that. But I'm thought like, well, well, it's my first go. We'll just, we'll, you know. And then I wanted, what's this? Oh yeah, eat, sleep, mind, repeat. That actually came out all right. So I was like, okay, I'm not too mad with that. There was a little bit of shrinkage because when I stamp it on, you'll see that there's some gaps in the back. Now my my young nails caption polish is really old. I do actually go over that with some black gel paint later on just to fill it in a bit and then i thought right i want an ender dragon because one of the aims of the game is to defeat the ender dragon so and I'm, I'm gonna i'm actually gonna fill this in with some gel paint the only thing is when you fill them in with gel paint you lose some of the design i'll show you i'll show you what i mean so i'm gonna put this on this now we are gonna fill him in actually this this ender dragon i think was the best of, out of all of the nails that I've done and then I thought right we'll do some tools because you need tools and I think I've done a sword and a pickaxe and a spade so again just removing some of the design off the stamp that we don't want we literally just want the tools so we're going to do like a little one there then we will move on to the I just I just skip forward a bit because it's kind of like the same then we've got a sword and then I, I, do, I don't think I don't know, I want, I don't, I, okay, so I've kind of gone off, born, I need some good stamping gel polishes. Now, someone has said Moira, someone has said, I can't even remember, trouble is they're quite expensive and I don't stamp a lot. So my kind of thinking, what, that this is a gel paint, now you have to be really, really careful with this, otherwise you lose, can you see I'm going over the design that I've stamped on? Like if I do, if I cover this in, it's going to lose some of those and it, I mean, it's so tiny, it's it's really difficult to get the gel paint between all those little corners. So I kind of end up just filling it in. This is Madame Glam's gel paint, by the way. I mixed up this colour. So, I mean, you know, you know, it's quite awkward. It's quite difficult. And when you, um, you'll see... Oh, yeah, this is me just filling in. I don't even know why I bothered doing this because I actually ruined this nail trying to do... Zoo. I tried to... I thought it would be good to do, like, um... You know, you if you play Minecraft, you have hearts as your health. They show you how much health you've got. And I thought, what if I dabbed some red on the nail and then had the hearts going over the top? So it's kind of like a, an, abs, an abstract. Hang on, is that the right word? I don't know, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm just using the black gel paint just to fill in some of this design because it kind of yeah it wasn't I didn't it wasn't the best yeah then I thought right I'll use some of the green gel paint just to fill in some of the but this gel paint was a little bit slightly different color look it's a bit lighter to what I used so I thought well maybe I can make it look like squares oh, I don't know it just yeah I do I do really I do like stamping because I think you can get some really really good designs done however I just think I'm not very good at it I definitely need more practice I think I've got my technique down. I just think the stamping polish that I used perhaps is not the best. I, I don't know. Okay, and then with this one, this is the end dragon. So he's got like grey on him. Uh, I had to actually Google a picture of what he looked like because I couldn't think from the top of my head. So down, down his wings, he's got like grey. He's mostly black, but he's got some grey detail to him. So I'll just fill in the bits that are grey and then I will pop him in the lamp to cure. You can give him 30 seconds if you want. Um, and then uh, we're going to go in with the black. We will give him a full cure afterwards. So my only worry with doing this was if I filled him in with the black, I'm going to lose some of the detail. So actually he didn't turn out that bad in the end because we had the grey. So that gave his wings a bit of definition. But yeah, I will... I will fill him in completely. And then again, I will give him a 
uh, like a half cure. There we are, and in he goes. Okay, then, oh, okay, while he's in, we're just going to go back to our a little tool. So I'm using the brown, and I'm using the brown really, really sparingly, and it fortunately wasn't thick enough that I lost the detail of the black. If I'd have, if I'd have, like in some areas, I make it a little bit, but yeah, we still fortunately got to see the, des the stamping design under the, under the brown, which was good. There we are, so that's that one. There we go, we've got some tools now. Okay, then the dragon just needs his purple eyeballs. He will have a full, you see what I mean? Look, I've done this. I just wanted you to keep this in because I wanted you to see what I'd done and I just thought it looked awful. I was trying to get the red to fade out, but it just looked, it just looked naff. So I was like, okay, bye bye creeper. And then I'd done the kind of the same thing, but with the logo. And I didn't, I actually forgot that the logo, I thought the logo was brown for some reason. The logo is actually like a grey. So that's, that nail's going to go out the window. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do with the logo, we're going to stamp it. And then using the grey that we had left over from the Ender Dragon. So look, right, we've got our, we've got our logo. I'm going to get rid of the excess design. And then the only thing is, when you put gel polish or gel paint on your stamper, because the stamper is shiny, it shrinks. So, yeah, it was a it was a bit of a pain in the bum bum. So I had to kind of work quickly. I do I don't show you me colouring the whole thing because it took ages. So we're just going to skip forward. And this is can you see it's sort of shrinked on the edges. So I'm trying to kind of cover it up quick. And then I thought right, just whack it in the oven. Uh, in the, in the oven, what? And then uh, I've, yeah, so I've I cured it and then I'm gonna stamp it on the nail. And what I end up doing is I do end up, where there are little gaps in the gray, I do end up just kind of trying to fill it in, but without losing the stamping design detail. It's, yeah, it's quite awkward, I don't know. Anyway, this is where we're at now. I thought, you know what that's gonna do, otherwise I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> This actually, I mean, stamping is supposed to be quick. This took me quite a lot, quite a long time. This is Madame Glam's velvet matte top coat. I do want to add some crystals because I just, yeah, I thought, you know what, we need something else. Um, it's too late for the glitter, so we're going to go in with some crystals. And I will, um, yeah, you, you, you would have seen the thumbnail anyway, but I will show you what crystals we use. Also, these tips, I don't like these tips. These are from Shein. And if you noticed at the bottom, they've got like little dinks in them. Well, that's where they've left on some plastics left on the bottom of the tips and you file them off, but it comes off in a chunk. I don't know, it's really weird. And a lot of them actually were broken. A lot of them were cracked. So I'm not sure that I would recommend Shein tips. All right, so these are Preciosa crystals. I've got deep tanzanite and blue zircon. So the tanzanite that these are these are supposed to be Minecraft diamonds. <laughs> yes. Let me know how many of you. Oh, and these are a deep Cadbury purple. I just thought they'd be nice for the Ender Dragon. Um, let me know in the comments how many of you play Minecraft. I don't think this video is going to get many views because I'm sure there's not a lot of people, especially like almost forty-year-old women. That I, there's probably not going to be many of us that play Minecraft. But if you do, I salute you. Because <laughs> I blooming love it. There we go. Just a few deep purple crystals to match the colour of his eyes. This is my um, Nelkami's Crystal Totalist Gem Glue, by the way. And yeah, this one, we're just going to throw some diamonds around between the diamond tools. So the crystals are precious crystals from the Crystal Parade. And you can use code Natma... No code nat5 to get five percent off any crystals that you want again all the links and apart from i'll, I'll have to add manitude's um website down there so you can find them but all the other links that i've got 
with my discount codes will be down below anyway so if you ever want anything check out the bottom of my videos and if there's a discount code and I, or, or my link tree my link trees on my instagram but there we go i mean they're they're okay aren't they they're not that bad <laughs> i mean they're not amazing but i enjoyed it it was fun I'll, I'll have another go but thanks for watching if you did like this video please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i'll see you tomorrow because i'm gonna do a video tomorrow <gasps> i know get me okay love you bye